Hello, dear traders. Today, the Asian trade opened in a positive note. Asian assets were gaining in value, whereas the US stock market is still under pressure. Appetite for risk assets was mainly caused by the hopes for a fruitful dialogue between Russia and Ukraine. The MCACI index, a broad global equity index, jumped by 1.6% after a decline to the low recorded in November 2020. Japan's Nikkei increased by 3.8 percent, showing the best performance in the last 21 months. Let us take a look at other assets. Today, the US dollar index climbed amid the expectations of a bulk of macroeconomic data from the United States. Traders have been mainly focused on the weekly labor market report and the CPI data. According to the forecast in February, the annual inflation rate accelerated to 7.9%, whereas on a monthly basis inflation rose 0.8%, compared to an increase of 0.6% in the previous months. The current reading could be to the 40-year high. This may force the Fed to raise the key interest rate, thus starting its monetary policy. All the factors are likely to create favorable conditions for the US dollar appreciation. Traders still prefer buying the greenback amid the uh, present geopolitical situation. This week, the US dollar has tested the level of 99. Economists suppose that in the next few days uh, or in a week, the currency may exceed the high of 100 points. Before reaching new highs, the US dollar should consolidate near the current levels. Notably, correctional movement may push the green back to its January's high of 97.50. More optimistic market sentiment has influenced both the greenback and the Japanese yen. The dollar yen pair managed to break the upper limit of the range located at 116. In fact, it was not difficult after the price exceeded 115.80. The quote gained momentum and now it has every chance to consolidate above 116 and climb higher. Otherwise, the pair will slide to the range and in the next few days it may even decline to 114.70. However, the pair strength is likely to be determined by the US inflation figures. In addition, buyers of the US dollar could become more active ahead of the Alpha MC meeting that is scheduled for next week. The fact is that the regulator is expected to raise the benchmark rate. Speaking of Australian assets, the country's stocks closed higher on Thursday. Bank and tech stocks went up on expectations of a possible breakthrough in Russia-Ukraine peace talks. The S&P ASX 200 index advanced 1.1% at the close of the session, showing the best performance since February 9. Markets hope for a peaceful end to the current conflict. However, the rally in the Asian market is rather unstable and a reversal may emerge at any time. As for the Aussie dollar, the Audi used to pay aged higher. Bulls are now trying to push the price to the recent highs above 0 0.7400. The target level is still standing at 0 0.7500, and the price is unlikely to reach the target this week due to the lack of significant support factors for the Australian dollar. Australia's macroeconomic calendar is almost empty. The board meeting of the Reserve Bank of Australia will take place on Friday. If no statements are released, the RDUSD pair will close the trading week in the range between 0.7170 and 0.7370. In general, the RDUSD pair currently trades under the influence of a stronger US dollar. And this has been our review of today's Asian trading session. We will continue to closely monitor the market situation to provide you with the up-to-date analytical information. You may leave us your questions and comments. And thank you for your attention. See you soon.